Welcome to Math with Wong. Today we're going to look at how to find a constant term in a binomial expansion. So the first thing you want to write down is you're going to write down your binomial theorem, which is n choose r, 8 to the power of n minus r, and b raised to the power of r. The key word here is constant term. Now, what does that mean? What well, constant term is when you don't have a variable. And more specifically, the exponent on the variable is equal to zero. Constant term means the exponent on the variable is zero. So what you can do is you can expand using the binomial theorem and isolate the variable term. Let me show you. So in this particular question, we know n is equal to 15. We don't know which term we are looking for. We know a is x and we know b is two over x squared. So we can suck all those into the binomial theorem. 15 choose r, a, which is x, 15 minus r, b, which is two over x squared to the power of r. Now we're gonna isolate the variable and the coefficient separately. So 15 choose r is part of the coefficient. The two here, it's also part of the coefficient. So we're gonna combine that together. So the coefficient is gonna be 15 choose r and two to the power of r, right? That's gonna be the coefficient of the term that I'm looking for. Uh, what about the variable? The variable is gonna be x to the power of 15 minus r. And here, be careful, the x is in the denominator, which means this is x to the power of negative two raised to the power of r. This is the part of the variable. And what's so special in this particular question is I want the variable to have an exponent equal to zero because that's what a constant term means. So I'm gonna combine this. This is gonna become x to the power of 15 minus r times x to the power of negative two r, power, power, multiply them together. Now, how do you multiply powers of the same base? You keep the base and you add the exponents. So this is 15 minus r plus negative 2r, which is same thing as minus 2r. And therefore, you're going to get x to the power of 15 minus 3r. And if it's a constant term, then the exponent equal to 0. Therefore, 15 minus 3r must equal to 0 which means r is going to equal to 5. Now we know exactly which term we are looking for. We're going to sub that back into the binomial theorem here and find the coefficient. Because I know this part is going to equal to um, x to the power of 0 or 1. All I need to worry about is this part. So the coefficient or the constant term is simply 15 choose 5 times by 2 to the power of 5. So final answer, therefore, the constant term is 15 choose 5 and 2 to the power of 5. 15 choose 5, 2 to the power of 5. And then I'll take out my calculator if that's on a paper two, and I'll find out what the answer is. Or in a paper one, you can just leave it like this. All right, thank you for watching.